Previously, Heath decided it was time for an upgrade and moved out into a fancy mansion. The ghouls tried to convince him that moving into such an expensive place was a bad idea, but Heath didn't listen and left the ghouls' house for good. Now let's see how he's adjusting to his new home. OMG! Heath just texted, it looks like he's all moved into his new place! He said we can come over anytime and see it! Ugh, I can't believe he went through with moving out. I give it a week before he declares bankruptcy. I agree that it wasn't the best idea for Heath to move into such an extravagant place, but what's done is done, I guess. All we can do now is be supportive. I can't wait to see his new house, though. It sounds amazing. So when should we go over? How about I text him back and see if we can come now? Ooh, yes. I can't wait to see how tacky his mansion is. Knowing Heath's taste, this will be very interesting. Okay, then. Yay! Heath said that's fine! Come on guys, let's go visit! Uh, what are you guys doing here? It's okay, I invited them. You guys are early! Sorry, Deuce just finished his shift at the pizza place, so we thought we'd go ahead and stop by. What's going on here? I hired them to redecorate Heath's old room. I'm thinking of turning it into a nightclub. Yeah, we were happy to help. Plus, we could really use the money because technically we're still homeless. Oh my god. Well, don't destroy anything upstairs. I'm surprised Abby's even trusting you two in our house considering Holt literally robbed us just a few weeks ago. Eh, I didn't feel like panning Heath's room by myself and they were the only people who agreed to do it for cheap. But yeah, you guys are on thin ice. No stealing this time, you morons. You got it. Um, okay then. Let's just go to Heath's place and get this over with. Okay guys, I think this is it. Oh my god, where are we? Is that a hedge maze? I think I just saw a peacock run by! Oh yeah, Heath mentioned that there were some animals that came with the property. Apparently the last owners had a personal zoo! What in the world? This is a really long driveway. Can I help you? We're here to visit Heath Burns! Well, we're here! Ah, hello. You must be Heath Burns' guests. Yeah, who are you? I'm Mr. Burns' butler. Now please, come in. Mr. Burns will be right with you. Hello, MTV, and welcome to my crib! Oh, it's just you losers. Ugh! Were you expecting MTV to be here? Well, yeah! I just moved into the most fabulous mansion in the city! It's only a matter of time before they arrive to put me on their show. Heath, this place is amazing! It's even more fancy than I was expecting! Well, duh! You don't spend $20 million on a mansion for it not to be top of the line! You spent how much on this place? Come on, guys! Don't just stand there! Let me give you a tour! Also, I don't want my neighbors to see you through the front windows. They might call the cops if they see poor people. Whoa! Is that a real T-Rex skull? Yep! I felt like this room needed some rare artifacts to tie everything together. And what says luxury more than literal dinosaur bones? Ooh! What's this? That is a rare porcelain vase! I had it shipped here from the Louvre in France. Wow! What are you doing?! I just told you I had this $10,000 vase transported here all the way from France, and your first thought is to touch it?! Hands off! Oops! Oh my god, Jackson! Why don't you go explore the outside of my house before you break any more precious artifacts?! Clearly, you can't be trusted around anything expensive! Oh... Come on, Jackie. I'll look around outside with you. Ugh! Um, I'm not even gonna ask. Yo, bro, check this out. Nice, homie! Alright, so this is my grand hallway. That's right, even the hallways in this house are extra. Is that a picture of you? 
Yup, isn't it stunning? I had it commissioned by the most exclusive artist in the city. I thought it looked perfect next to all these classic paintings. You paid someone to make that? Well, yeah. I needed a custom painting of me so no one forgets this is my house. That poor painter. But this painting is my absolute favorite. Ugh. Ugh. Now follow me right this way. I don't want any of you wandering off without me. It is very easy to get lost in this house. Now this is the master bedroom, AKA my room. Fun fact, this house has 10 bedrooms, but this is the biggest one. Hey, what's in there? Do not open that. That is my walk-in closet, and as much as I wish you could see my amazing fashion collection so I could watch you cry out of jealousy, I can't let you peasants in there. There are too many valuables, and I can't have you ogling my babies. Okay then. Let's keep going. I don't like you guys spending this much time in my room. This is the window with the best view in the house. Actually, if you look close enough, you might be able to see Kim Kardashian's house. That's right, the Kardashians are my neighbors. Now, this is just one of my indoor pools. Did I mention this house has three, by the way? I just love to come in here and run my hands through this waterfall. It's so relaxing. Ooh, hey, don't touch! I don't think there's enough chlorine in the world to kill all the germs on you fools. Only I am allowed to swim in this pool. Ugh. Also, notice the view of the fabulous infinity pool outside. My favorite thing to do is to relax in my indoor pool while I look out the window to admire my outdoor pool. Oh my god. Uh, Heath, I need your help. Me and Jackson were exploring outside and Jackson got lost in your hedge maze. Frankie? Heath? Help! Ugh, that is not my problem. You're on your own. I have like 57 rooms left to show everyone. But I said you're on your own! Oh, Jackson, Jackson. This is my amazing personal cinema. It's got a 50 foot wide 4K screen and the most luxurious movie theater seats ever. Okay, wow, this is definitely the coolest room in the house. Ooh, look at all these vintage movie posters. Um, those are lame. I plan on getting them replaced with Keeping Up With The Kardashians posters. That's all I watch in here anyway. Well, everyone, we've almost reached the end of my house tour. Thank God, I'm exhausted from all that walking. Seriously, what a workout. Can we get some water or something? No. Now the last thing I have to show you losers is my sprawling outdoor garden. This baby came with nearly 500 acres of lush green land. It's got a rose garden, two full-size tennis courts, a hedge maze, a golf course, a few exotic animal exhibits, and well, you already saw the infinity pool. Um, what was that? Oh, just one of the tigers the previous owner left. Wait, you have tigers here? What are you, the new Carol Baskin? Phew, I finally found Jackson! Heath, that hedge maze you have is really impressive. Jackie was stuck in there for hours! That was so scary! I thought I was gonna be stuck in there forever! I was starting to accept my fate. I even tried to make a shelter out of sticks and leaves, but it didn't really work. Thank goodness Frankie came to my rescue. I'm bummed out I missed the house tour, though. Ugh! Jackson, I hope none of my neighbors heard you out there yelling for help. How embarrassing! I mean, can you imagine if Kim Kardashian and Kanye West showed up on my doorstep to complain? I did mention the Kardashians are my neighbors, right? Yes. Well, you guys should probably get off my property before Mrs. Kim K sees you and calls the cops. I should not be seen with you guys anyway. Welp, bye losers! I'm gonna go de-stress in my home spa! Yo, what's up, Abby? We just finished renovating upstairs. Well, peace. 
Oh yeah, thank god Heath has all moved out. We'll get much more use out of his room now that it's our own personal nightclub. <coughs> Ugh, finally those guys are out of here. The paint fumes coming from upstairs are about to put me in a coma. <coughs> Yikes. Wow, well I guess it's official. Heath's really gone. I'm gonna miss having him around the house. Ha, huh, I won't. I have a feeling our lives are going to be much better without Heath around. There will definitely be less Kardashian talk. And we won't have to smell the insane amount of Chanel number no. 5 perfume he puts on every day. Right? Thank God he's gone. Now it's time to go finish setting up his old room.